Hello guys, so new space, still settling in. Um, this is a temporary space to be fair, going to be here for at least a couple of months though while we're moving into much larger space and I'll show you that down the line. However, work still needs to be done, content still needs to be created. So here is me having my first look at the Dyna MU plugin, which is full screen. Look at that full screen right there. Let's check it out. Hello guys, it's Unders. So today, you may have guessed, we're having a look at some of the new t rags plugins. The first one we are checking out is the Dyna MU. And I just want to throw some excitement at something really, really, really frivolous. First things first, if I put this plugin right over here on the side and I've got this little clicker just down here that goes to some arrows like it would with a native logic plugin and I can zoom in as much as I desire. We finally got fully scalable GUIs, which is just awesome. It's something I think is absolutely necessary with people working on such a wide variety of displays when we've got plugins that are this default tiny little thing that you can't operate on when you're on like a 5k display uh, we can just zoom right in and do what we like here also saves me a bunch of video editing because i can make this full screen and for you guys that's super helpful so thank you ik for doing that straight away first thing you're going to notice is this is a compressor however there's something missing and it's the ratio and that's because this is based on the input and threshold and depending how much we're compressing is basically dependent on the ratio. Now there's a piece of hardware out there that does a similar thing and that is Manly's VU compressor. Um, now I think that's what this is going to be. So there's no specifics of what this is modeling but based on that, based on the design, based on their choice of how the meters look, I think that's what they're going for. If you think I'm wrong, throw it in the comments down below. Let me know what you think it is, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the Manly VU compressor, which has got independent stereo options. Um, the threshold works in the same way as this. It's got the really basic release settings of just like slow and fast and one in between of each. Um, I, I think that's what's gonna be. The meters for me with the giveaway and the way they're like laid out and set to look like that. The layout of this is different to the Manly um, plugin, <coughs> Manly hardware, sorry. But yeah, I, th I think that's what it is. Just in their description, it describes it as um, like an iconic American design compressor. That's the only one off the top of my head. So what I've got going on here is it just loaded on the strings of this. So I've got a strings bus going because I've got like some violin recording, some cello going on, and then a bunch of MIDI strings in as well. So if we solo this guy right here, what it's actually working on is this bus just here. Cool, and that works in with the rest of the beat. There's a bit of a side chain compression going on, so it changes slightly when the whole mix is in. And there's some automation going on with the strings, dependent on the snare hits and things like that. It was in my last video, if you didn't catch that, with the uh, fab filter adding drama to strings. Um, that's just got a bit of extra going on there, and this is just catching those sort of off bits taking about one decibel out. What I just wanted to go over was some of the features on it. So LR and MS, which is great. That's really useful. And the link feature is really important on the MS. So obviously we've got left and right. We can have those independent if we like. Um, that's really useful if you're working on a drum recording, for example, and your drummer smashes the symbols right over on one side and you you might want to catch that with a bit of compression but then not destroy what's going on on the right hand side so it's good to have those options working independently it's important about the link here that is dependent on the side chain okay so the side chain is rolling off from around 100 hertz really gentle roll off um, i believe it's going to be like 12 decibel roll off perhaps even a six can't imagine that would work too well from 100 hertz but it might well be that and um 
yeah, the link feature is just so that those can work independently or together. Again, if you've got something with low frequency hitting on one side, you might not want it to cause a trigger on the other. That's completely up to you. If we then do gang and switch that on, that allows us to just move one ratio around here and then everything else will move with it. So for example, if I move the threshold slightly here, we see the other side doesn't adjust. However, if we put gang on, they'll snap and they'll both be on the same there. Then we can change the compressor knee by just quite simply switching hard on. Because we've got gang on, we're going to see that both engage just here. And that's just going to change from the standard soft knee to the hard knee. There's no in between here. We don't get to change with that too much. And release wise, we've just basically got these five snap settings here between slow and fast. And relatively simple what you'd expect for any other compressor we're going to use the input into the threshold to get our right amount of compression and then we're going to adjust that with the output based on the compression we've got now i'm taking off less than a decibel but i've boosted it up by 1.2 when i was playing around with it that was just the volume i came to when listening back it needed that sort of 1.2 lift to sit where i wanted it to sit um as a compressor, it's supposed to be adding lots of rich harmonics and things like that. The way I'm just treating it by taking it down by just one decibel, I'm not getting too much of that. So if we solo it, listen to it in A, B it. So it's adding a little something, but I don't really know if it's adding harmonics or if it's just the control that's uh, quite pleasing and that's what we needed there. However, if you hit it a little bit harder, you can definitely really hear it starts to change the sound a bit. So if we hit your threshold down some more. <laughs> So that's sort of similar levels there. We're pushing that a little bit harder now. If you listen to those cellos, the cellos are the staccato part that's sort of hitting in the 4-4 rhythm and then builds up a bit at the end. They really change in tonality now. We're pushing it a little bit harder. So I'm going to have it off and I'll engage it. Just focus on the cellos. <laughs> Yeah, so it's adding quite a bit of uh, warmth and body and real focus to the jelly. However, for what I wanted, wasn't wasn't what we we're after here. But it's a really nice effect to have. It's quite nice on the master bus as well. Although I found you will need to adjust the release quite a bit and perhaps even automate it if you've got different passages of the track going on. So it worked quite nicely as slow for this sort of track. But on the breakdown, the slow was just not working at all um needed to make it maybe make it drop off a bit quicker it was just um my best description would be pumping from the strings and it just not what i was after but the harmonic sound that's going on is quite nice so what we'll do is real quickly revert this roughly back to what it was which i don't really remember we were somewhere around there and we'll real quickly just copy it onto the right onto the end of the chain why not just let arc get bumped down one more so we've now got this on the master so let's have a listen to the whole thing rather than just the strings cool. so somewhere around there should be okay so let's just have it off and then we'll engage it and we'll have a little listen. And we'll just grab these first four bars so we don't get the choir coming in.
quickly so hopefully you can really hear what's going on in the lower frequencies definitely with the cello and the kick drum it adds loads of like grunt and just impact and it sounds quite nice um i'm still like working on this track i might well go with that and put it on the master and just really lightly compress it just so it doesn't take all the dynamics out and see if I can get that out but I might just have to put it on the kick and cello separately and just play around with the sound it's going to be a testing back and forth if you're after this sort of sound just go grab the demo of this give it a go um, what I would say the best thing to do at the moment is there's an offer on for the like T-Rex 5 upgrade so if you've got any IK plugins you're eligible for that upgrade it's a nice cheap offer and you get this um, and some of the other mastering plugins and bits we're going to look at very much enjoying this so far um like i said i think it's aimed at that that manly compressor if you think i'm wrong though give me a shout let me know that i should be checking something else out um i'm going to keep playing around with this and very much enjoying it hopefully this was helpful for you guys and let's just a little look inside the track at what i'm getting up to and i will catch you on the next one